is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com and today we have another exciting episode for you. In this episode we'll be comparing two juicers. We're going to be comparing the best-selling Nama J2 juicer against the Green Star Pro juicer. Actually recently I posted a video with my friend Paul Nissan who has been using the Green Star series juicers including the Pro for many years and this was his favorite juicer until the Nama J2 came out. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my perspective, because also the Nama J2 is my favorite juicer, but also as somebody that sells juicers, been working with juicers for over 25 years, I wanna share with you guys, you know, there's like pros and cons to each machine. You know, while Paul loves the Nama J2 now over the Green Star Pro, I wanna let you guys know that, you know, for some of you guys, the Green Star Pro may make more sense and may be the better juicer for you and that is the main reason why I make these videos to show you guys my personal opinions as well as how the juicers perform in real world tests right my name is John Kohler from discount juicers I'm the number one world's juicer expert self-proclaimed of course show me somebody that has more YouTube videos than me on comparing juicers or like living in the juicing world for longer than me and I'll definitely want to follow them and I will be impressed because this has been literally my lifetime of comparing and contrasting juicers and selling juicers, but more importantly, being a juicer user. I use the juicers, right? And I'll be honest with you guys, the Green Star Pro sits on my shelf most of the year unless I'm pulling it out for a video like this. Or in some cases, I will use the Green Star Pro when I have some more expensive produce such as turmeric, for example that will definitely be a lot better uh, you know, yield and nutrition in the Green Star Pro than the Nama J2. In any case, let's go ahead and dive right in to this video. So the two juices we have today is the Nama J2, which is classified as a vertical single auger style juicer. And then over on this side, we have the Green Star Pro, which is classified as a twin gear juicer, right? You could think of it like this. There's all different kinds of fruits, but you can't necessarily compare an apple to an orange because they're different fruits, right? You can maybe compare an apple to a pear because they're closely related. But while apples and oranges are both fruits, they're a lot different. You know, the, the orange is a lot more juicy, has a lot more vitamin C content, a lot more flavonoids in the, you know, right near the skin underneath the orange coloring. The apples, of course, have lots of pectin, as do the oranges but they're like different you know and that's both these machines are juicers they will make juice but they are also very different the easiest difference you guys can see is that this one takes up less counter space right it's quite tall whereas this one is a lot more space on your counter and is a lot more long but not quite as tall I mean I could unplug this here and we can set this up next to the J2 and we put it sideways right they're almost the same height at this point of course you're not gonna use it like this they're, almost, they're basically the same width, if you're looking at it this way, but then of course this is a lot more wider. The other thing I will say is that this is a lot more heavy duty machine. It's a lot heavier, has a more, I would say, beefy motor, durable motor. Um, but the Nama J2 is also quite heavy. And of course, I wanna share you with you guys, both these machines have the longest warranty in the juicing industry, 15 years on the whole juicer, motor, and the parts. While this is the Green Star Pro and it is a commercial certified machine that can be used in juice bars and restaurants due to NSF um, or health code laws, it only has a three year warranty if you are using it commercially. That being said, the Nama J2 is not rated for commercial use and your warranty will be void if you do use it in a commercial establishment. So you can see, yeah, there's definitely a size difference. This is a little bit taller. Looks a bit more modern. This has more of a classic old school look and is a lot longer. The next thing I want to share with you guys is about the companies. Trivest has been in business now for well over 30 years selling and making healthy living easy for you guys. They have excellent customer service. That being said, Nama is a relatively a newer company compared to uh, the Trivest company. Both companies are headquartered in Southern California and have a U.S. based, you know, service. That being said, you know, the Green Star Pro is available throughout the world through different distributors. Whereas the Nama J2, they have distributors in the United States as well as in the U.K. at present time. That being said, the Namawell.com website will ship to you guys all over the world. Like most countries in the world, I believe they will ship to you. 
Whereas the uh, TriVest website will not ship all over the world. You'll have to find the distributor in your area, which they have linked on their website. So before we go on, I want to show you guys a special coupon code that you guys could use on either of these two juicers, right? My name is John Kohler from Discount Juice. I always try to get you the lowest prices on the juicers, and I'm negotiated with the manufacturers to save you guys 10% off on either of these juicers. If you guys want to get the NAMA J2 juicer, you guys could use a coupon code. I'll throw up right there, vertical10, because this is a vertical juicer, right? And you could save 10% off your purchase of the NAMA J2. Now, if you guys want to save 10% off on the Green Star Pro, I'm going to hook you guys up with a discount as well. To get the 10% off discount for the Green Star Pro, you're going to visit the website, put down below, trybest.com slash DJ10, which will save you guys 10% off the Green Star Pro Juicer. You know, I make these discounts available for you guys because of my long-term relationships with the different companies. I try to get you guys the best price. And of course, when you guys use one of those coupon codes or links, the manufacturers will also share a small commission with me so I can continue to make these educational videos for you guys and tell the truth about juicers because nobody else in the world goes to the depth that I do in testing and more importantly, explaining and comparing all the different juicers so that you guys can find the exact right juicer for you. That's the most important thing because I have been juicing now for 28 years and I know the difference juice can make in your life, right? I want you guys to get the juicer that's going to be best for your specific needs and that's why I make these videos. So I want to thank you guys who have used that coupon code in the past or will use it in the future. Anyways, back to this video today. I think uh, while both companies have excellent customer service, I would have to say maybe NAMA inches up and has a little bit better customer service than Green Star or the TriBest company. That being said, all my customers that have had to get re referred to the manufacturers have always taken care of my customers and their warranty claims. Um, you know, because I'll advocate for my customers. I purchased at discountjuicers.com, either of these two machines. Now, of course, at discountjuicers.com, we don't have the same promotional discount coupon codes, but you will get me literally in your pocket as your liaison to ensure that you guys get warranty support as well as to answer any additional questions you may have after your purchase as the number one world's juicing expert. So for some of you guys, you may find value in that. And for some of you guys, you just want to save the 10% and you guys could do that as well. All right. So here's the thing. Both these are juicers, but they operate differently. And that's the thing that like people don't really talk about. And that's what I really want to get into. So I think what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and take apart the juicers and compare them side by side so you guys could better understand how the juicers work and why they're different more importantly. All right, so first we're gonna start with the NAMA J2. The NAMA J2 is a vertical single auger juicer. This is a cold press juicer as is the Green Star Pro. How this works is you got the motor base where, the, where this spins approximately like 50 revolutions per minute. So that runs at a low and slow revolutions per minute RPMs. What you're going to do is you're going to open this up and you can load up this hopper. And that's, that's the claim to fame on the J2 is that it basically has an easy load hopper. So you can load this up with your pre-cut fruits or vegetables. If you load this up with pre-cut vegetables all the way to the top, you can get about 24 ounces of juice in one fall swoop. If you fill it up with fruits such as papayas or watermelon, you could get about 32 ounces, one quart of juice in one fall swoop. And the claim to fame to this machine is that it's a hands-free juicer. You literally load this up shut the lid and you can literally walk away while the juicer does all the juicing for you. This is the newest and latest technology and people have been loving it because old school juicers like the Green Star, you literally got to sit there and you'll see me when I do a juice off. I'm going to, I got to push each produce item in the machine. So for some of you guys may like the meditation aspect of pushing produce in the machine and making it work. And actually you'll be done a little bit sooner um, because while this is auto feeding, it may take a bit longer to juice. That being said, there's benefits to this machine. Like you're going to get a higher yield in most cases, especially with root vegetables. You're also going to get more nutritious juice, which we'll th be talking about in a minute. Anyways, you fill up this hopper here and in the top of this hop hopper, you can see there's a little blade that spins around in there. This is called a processing blade. The job of the processing blade is twofold. Number one, it'll gently cut up the fruit or vegetable you put in there into smaller pieces. The second thing is that it kind of agitates and basically feeds things into this little hole here, which then will funnel it into the single auger of the juicer, which is right here. 
So it moderates the speed that things are being uh, fed into the machine and that's why this machine is better than other vertical auger juicers out there because other vertical auger juicers depended on the user to feed things into the slow and moderate place and some people would just feed things in too fast and start cramming things in with the pusher and then it would clog and jam. So I've had the J2 clog and jam on me maybe like twice. I was juicing straight cactus fruits the other day, it jammed on me, that's why I recommend juicing cactus fruits with jicama. And then I was juicing something out of my garden that was like just really fibrous that actually clogged and jammed. But otherwise, I've never had the J2 clog and jam on me. So what happens is the produce then goes into this auger, which is a single auger. And it gets chopped up a little bit more by this little uh, auger here. And then it runs down this auger in between the auger and the screen. And that's why this is a single auger juicer because there's one single auger. It's, it's going vertically. It's up and down. The produce drops in and basically what happens is the produce gets crushed and squeezed. So basically it's, it's crushing and grinding and at the same time it's squeezing. And when it does that, the juice comes out these little holes and then comes out the front of the juicer. So that's probably the main thing I want you guys to be aware of. This machine between the auger and the juicing screen is being crushed and squeezed out and then the pulp comes out the uh, little hole here, which then comes out the pulp spout here, and the juice comes out the front. Of course, you also have a special wiping blade on here that is spinning around during the juicing process to basically slush off all the juice on the screen and, uh, you know, get it into your glass. And then finally, you have the juicing bowl, which basically the juice comes out over on this side and the pulp comes out over on this side. And that's basically how the... Nama J2 juicer works. Once again, single auger, plastic on plastic grinding with this stainless steel screen that the juice comes through, okay? 50 revolutions per minute. Next, let's go, oh, and then I wanna show you guys the feed chute. If you did wanna feed things in one at a time, which I do not recommend, I recommend loading up the hopper. Although if you load up the hopper, you could drop things in as the hopper empties to kind of keep it going, but I usually just like to let it empty and then open it up and then fill it up again. Uh, meanwhile, the Green Star Pro, it's a more traditional style juicer where you actually got to push each item in the machine, right? Especially if you guys have arthritis or getting a bit more up there and senior in age and you don't, you can't do a lot of work anymore, right? You may want to get the J2 despite this machine having some benefits that the J2 does not have because the J2 is going to let you juice. And if you juice more, even if you have the best juicer and you juice less with it, right? It's not as beneficial as juicing more often. Uh, even if you're not getting the highest yield or nutrient quality. All right, so on the J on the Green Star Pro, you got this whole top housing. Both these machines have built-in safety switches, so if they are not assembled properly, the machines will not come on, so I like that they both have built-in safeties. Uh, this is the Green Star uh, Pro feed chute, and just to put this side by side, you guys can see Basically, the Nama J2 feed chute, because it is a circle, is a little bit larger than the Green Star Pro. That being said, you're pretty much just going to load up things in the whole hopper, which, you know, in some cases you can just put in whole apples, whereas you will have to pre-cut your apples in the Green Star Pro. Uh, next, we got all these different parts in the Green Star Pro. I'm going to say definitely that the Green Star Pro will be more challenging and take you more time to clean because of these nooks and crannies. Um, and scraping of the screen that you do not have to do on the J2. So let's go ahead and take the Green Star Pro apart. So we have the basically the outlet casing here with the outlet adjusting knob coming right off. This is something the Nama J2 does not have. There's a little spring in here and this spring keeps tension on this little piece to basically not allow the pulp out until it is drier. Now on the Nama J2, I didn't show you guys a little bit earlier, but on the Nama J2, if we flip this down, there's basically a little silicone flap that does put that does put some resistance on the produce that does not allow this flap to get pushed down unless there is some resistance. That being said, I think this is a lot more effective design with a spring because the spring has a lot more resistance than this flap does to allow drier produce out. So if you know if yield is important to you, then the Green Star Pro may be warranted. Of course, on the Green Star Pro, let's just go ahead and take some of this apart because I want to explain how this works. This works with two twin stainless steel 100% gears to basically grind up the produce and then 
it grinds it, it mixes it, and then it squeezes it. So it's like a three-stage juicing in one, whereas this basically goes in and crushes and squeezes it at the same time. These are both considered cold-pressed juicers, but they go about it a little bit differently. On the Nama J2, the crushing is done between the uh, plastic auger as well as the, there's plastic ribs, a few plastic ribs inside this screen. That's what grinds up things in the Nama J2 as it goes down and down, especially near the, the bottom here, it, it does a better grind. Whereas on the Green Star Pro, the grinding is solely done in between two stainless steel gears. So you got plastic on plastic, but you have two stainless steel gears. For some of you guys, you may like want, you know, juicing happening within the stainless steel gears. The other thing is this has three distinct stages. Um, you know, some twin gear juicers, the gears are so close that it may be grinding. And I have seen metal shavings in juices before that will never happen in the Green Star Pro because they've designed that so that the gears will never touch. That being said, they have designed this with several different um, elements to the gears to make it more effective, including pocket recess teeth, including cutting edges on the gears, right? as well as they have far infrared and ceramic technologies in the middle of the gears that are said to help keep your juices fresher longer, pull out more minerals out of the juice, and to help your juice not to oxidize as quickly. You know, these are some things that the NAMA J2 does not have, and I tend to believe that these magnetic properties in and the bioceramic properties, far infrared properties in the gears, actually do something and do make the juice quality better. In addition, the other thing I want you guys to look at is, I want you guys to look at the total run of the gears. These gears are rather long, and if we look at the run of the auger, you know, it's much shorter. So, I mean, you, you basically, the, the top of the gears is how long this auger is. So, the, as you put the produce in there, in the Green Star Pro, it's being crushed, 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 crushed. Then it's being mixed, 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 and then it's being squeezed out. Whereas that happens in a lot, lot longer area, which means there's more contact of the auger to basically grind up things to a finer texture, which means it's going to extract more nutrition out of the juice. And it's also going to grind it up uh, to a finer particle size because it is stainless steel on stainless steel. Instead of using plastic on plastic, with that, that the run is actually not even as long right so that's something very important that you know if you just watch a video why the nam is better than the green star you guys don't understand like how the juicers work and you know for some of you guys you may want grinding happening in 100 percent stainless steel that's one of the big pros of the green star pro of course both these machines are advertised as bpa free and honestly guys the auger is my favorite part of the green star pro by far, the auger is actually, the augers are, the dual gears are actually quite easy to clean. So let me go ahead and uh, now put the juicing screen on the Green Star Pro. So the juicing screen ends up going over this last section. So basically the produce is ground up and then it's mixed and then it gets down to the pressing stage. And as the juice is now pressed out, the, the, ju the pressed juice comes through these screen holes and then drops down into the collection cup underneath the machine. So, you know, if cleaning is a big issue to you, then you might want to look at the overall screen area, right? The screen area of the Green Star Pro versus the Nama J2. There's a lot more screen area on the Nama J2 that you will physically have to brush out when you're done. There's less screen area on the Green Star Pro because it's a concentrated screen area than the Nama J2. However, while there is more surface area on the Nama J2, I will say the Green Star Pro screen will be more difficult to clean because the pulp will get basically um, lodged in each of the holes. So they give you a special scraping tool to scrape out the pulp that's lodged in there. And then they give you a brush to basically brush the pulp out. So uh, yeah, on cleaning the screen, more surface area, less surface area, but now the pulp will be kind of ground in. Whereas on the Nama J2, the pulp is not as ground in. Of course, with the Green Star Pro and Green Star Elite, they also come with a core screen, as does the Nama J2. But the Green Star Pro also comes with a blank or homogenizing plate.
that is additional on the NAMA J2, you know, so it is included with the uh, Green Star Pro as well as a mochi attachment or for making breadsticks that is also included with the Green Star Pro. The Green Star Pro does also have an optional pasta attachment you guys can buy. I've never seen anybody use it, but that's an additional upgrade if you would like to purchase it. And then finally you have the feed chute, but basically you put the produce in the feed chute and the augers are kind of running at the bottom of the feed chute. If you guys look in the bottom of there, you can see the augers spinning together. And that's basically how this machine runs. You put the produce in there and then the augers grind it up for a period of time and then it gets to it gets to the mixing stage and then it gets to the pressing stage where the juice is then pressed out through the screen. Now one of the things I don't like about the Green Star Pro is that when you're done juicing there's always going to be some pulp residue on this area of the juicer. So actually mine is stained with the turmeric color because I juice turmeric in it if I am using it because it really does an excellent job in, of getting nutrients out of turmeric as well as the ginger. So if you guys have like a kombucha shop and you want to juice ginger with a commercial approved machine, this is the machine that you guys want to use because it's certified for commercial use and does an excellent job at ginger. Meanwhile, over on the NAMA J2, if we look at the juicing top here where the motor is, this area should never get any kind of juice splatter or juice drips or any pulp on it when you're juicing because the NAMA J2 has a little gasket right here that does not allow unless it's defective you know juice to collect on the top of the machine so that's kind of a benefit for the nama a little bit easier to clean on the motor base this you have to kind of you know brush down and clean when you're done something that i'm not necessarily a fan of myself the other thing i'd like to add is that the green star pro runs at 110 revolutions per minute so it's about twice as many revolutions per minute as the NAMA J2. Now, John, that's twice as many revolutions. That's twice as bad, right? It's going to aerate twice as much. Well, yes, depending on what you're juicing. Like if you're juicing straight leafy greens in the Green Star Pro, for example, wheatgrass, it's going to make a lot more foam in your wheatgrass because of the higher RPM and the design of the twin gears that actually tend to pull air in as it is grinding, especially when there's not you know, something like carrot pulp to fill all this empty space in between the augers. If you use the same quantity of wheatgrass in the NAMA J2, it's going to produce less foam when juicing straight wheatgrass or straight leafy greens than the twin gear. That being said, if you're doing a mixture of like even mixture of carrots and greens, that's where I think the Green Star Pro will shine. This design really does and is optimized for juicing the root vegetables. It will also, of course, juice celery and leafy greens and fruits, right? My caveat is that if you guys are going on a fruit juice cleanse diet program where you're juicing mostly fruits, like for example, pineapple, I do not recommend juicing straight pineapple in the Green Star Pro or any twin gear juicers because it's probably just gonna cause you guys to get a headache because I know it did with me. This machine is designed for hard fibrous pulp that will easily go through the augers and have some resistance against the augers. The softer pulp of pineapples will basically just clog up and jam and not really even come out. So if you're doing higher fruit volumes, right, then the NAMA J2 would be a lot better. However, if you're doing fruit with vegetables, you know, like pineapple with carrots, then the Green Star Pro is going to perform a lot better and get a higher yield and more nutritious juice in the long run. So it really kind of depends on you and what you want to juice specifically. For greens, you know, if you're doing straight greens, while the NAMA will juice straight greens a bit better than the Green Star Pro, honestly, the best juicer for straight greens is a single auger horizontal juicer, such as the Santa 727. All right, so hopefully you guys learned about how these machines work and how they're significantly different. Once again, the main thing crush between two stainless steel gears that will never touch so you're never going to grind up metal into your juice like other twin gear juicers bio ceramic and magnetic uh, properties in the middle of the gears to help extend the shelf life of your juices pull out more minerals and maintain higher enzyme and nutrition quality you have three distinct stages of a grinding uh, mixing and pressing stage that is said to get more nutrients out according to the gerson uh, therapy Whereas on the single auger, you're basically pressing against plastic, against plastic inside the screen. 
um, with the ribbing on the outside of the screen. Maybe there's a little bit of ribbing of the stainless on the inside. So now you have a plastic on stainless to some extent. The grinding is not as deep, right? It does not bust open as many cell walls as the Green Star Pro. Hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate this when I do make the juice. And of course the heavy duty motors on both machines. I do like that the Green Star Pro has a bit more heavier motor than the NAMA J2. That being said, both these machines have a 30, si 30 minute duty cycle. You should rest them after that. It's uh, explained as the Green Star Pro. That being said, NAMA doesn't really necessarily claim a specific 30 minute runtime. I will tell you that I've used both machines for up to an hour at a time without any issue. That being said, if you guys want to treat your juicers nicer, you should just run the machines for up to 30 minutes on, and then you want to just let them rest for 30 minutes to cool down a little bit before you continue to use them. I also like that the TriBest Green Star Pro, they both have the, you know, easy disconnect, uh, you know, IEC cables, but also the Green Star Pro has basically a built-in fuse holder and a built-in fuse with an extra included. You know, so if you should overload the machine or should be a power spike or something like that, it could blow out the fuse, but you could easily get in there and change it yourself. Whereas the NAMA J2 does not have any user accessible fuses or any kind of parts like that. So if you want a bit more protection, that's where the Green Star Pro may be more beneficial for you. So I think the next thing I want to do is we're going to go ahead and assemble both machines. Both machines are quite easy to assemble. You will need to get the hang of it. <laughs> so first we're going to take the main feed chute housing and just drop that on to the Green Star Pro. We're going to go ahead and take the two twin gears and on the twin gears on the back there's a, one gear has two dots, another gear has a single dot. You're going to basically make a triangle out of the dots and then you could uh, shove the gears into this main housing. You might have to twist it a little bit until it's fully seated, it goes all the way back in. We're going to go ahead and then put the juicing screen in place and we're going to put the uh, outlet, uh, the main juicing uh, body there on and we're just going to go ahead and snap these into place. Super simple, super easy. We're going to take the outlet adjusting knob and we're just going to go ahead and screw this into the maximum pressure. Uh, maximum pressure is best for things like wheatgrass, greens, celery, and root vegetables. If you're juicing fruits, you may want to even remove it all the way completely. They do make an optional soft fruit attachment that can help to increase the, uh, you know, uh, make juicing fruits a lot easier. That being said, just because you have the soft fruit attachment doesn't mean you're going to be successful at juicing pineapple. It's likely still to back up and clog and not juice so well, in my opinion. Finally, we're going to put the feed chute top on, lock it into place, and if you've assembled it correctly, you can turn the machine on. It has a nice low pitch hum. Meanwhile, over on the NAMA J2, the most important thing is you want to assemble this off the juicer. You don't want to assemble it on the juicer or you won't be able to assemble it properly. I did take out the little um, silicone plug here, so we're just going to go ahead and fasten that back into place and close this up and lock it into place. The next step is we're going to go ahead and take the juicing screen and the wiping blade and just put that on so it freely rotates. There's a little small um, indentation here and a large one here. We're just going to go ahead and lock Line that up with the bowl, with the small and large, drop right in place. We're gonna go ahead and then take the auger, the auger then drops right in place, I like to spin it around. Then we're gonna go ahead and take the hopper. The hopper needs to line up with this whole outcropping, with the outcropping on the bottom. We're gonna put it in place and lock it in. And we're just gonna go ahead and take the, the lid, put it on the hinge and drop it in place. It locks into place, you can then drop the, top set on top of the motor and then you can turn it on this also has a more like quiet deeper rumbling sound as well and since we got them both running let's go ahead and do a sound check to see how loud each machine is running empty that one peaks out about 63 decibels let's go ahead and try the green star pro I'm going to say that averages out at about 64, 65. So, I mean, honestly, guys, these two are pretty much makes the same level of noise uh, when in operation. Once again, I want to remind you guys that these are both slow juicers. are going to produce a high quality juice. But even within the whole slow juicer category, 
some slow juicers are better. So, I mean, here's the thing. Like, if nutrition is more important to you, then I'm going to say, like, just get the Green Star Pro. Certain nutrients, as, as I've seen through published scientific studies, shown that uh, Twin Gears will produce up to twice as much, actually, beta carotene and vitamin C than a single auger machine. If you're looking at minerals in general, you may see like potentially up to 20% more minerals in a twin gear machine than a auger machine. Of course, if you're looking at overall flavonoids and other different properties or polyphenols in the juice, they may be pretty close within a few points of each other. So it really kind of depends on what nutrient you're looking at. In some cases, uh, the auger juicer may win. But in most cases, if nutrition is absolutely paramount for you guys, you know, I'm going to say the, the twin gear is the way to go. You know, certain nutrients can be significantly higher because the way this machine works, breaking open cell walls. That being said, this machine does take a little more strength to use and, um, you know, is going to be more difficult to clean in the end than the Nama J2 juicer. So once again, pros and cons, and you guys need to figure out which of these are most important to you. Anyways, we're going to make this easier for you guys today because what we're going to do today is we're going to juice even amounts of carrots and apples in both machines to show you with you guys the yields and show you guys the process and how long it takes to juice. So first, let's go ahead and do a produce weigh-in. All right, so I'm all set up and ready to juice and let's go ahead and do a weigh-in to make sure we have a fair fight. All right, let's go ahead and do a weigh-in over on the Nama J2 side. Looks like we got uh, 16, 14 grams organic carrots and locally grown apples here. And then over on the Green Star Pro side, also looks like we got 16, 14 grams. Once again, same carrots and same apples. Both scaled at the same time. You guys can clearly see we got 16, 14. To verify, we have a fair fight. All right, now that we got the weigh-in out of the way, let's go ahead and move the produce off. And I think today I'll be juicing in the Green Star Pro first. I will have to pre-cut some of the apples, but the carrots should pretty much... Just go in the machine, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and time this for you guys. You guys can see how long the process takes. So I guess we'll turn the machine on, and we're going to go ahead and hit the start button there. And we're just going to take our first carrot and drop it in the machine. We're going to have to use the, I like to use the wooden pusher, and to push literally each carrot in the machine. And we're going to get the juice out the bottom here, the pulp over on this side. And then, of course, the apples will not fit in the machine, so we're just going to go ahead and take the apples and cut them into force so I can also include them. It's best to rotate the ingredients as you're juicing them. So you want to put it in like a piece of apple, and then you're going to go ahead and then follow that with a carrot. That's going to make sure it works the best. So in order to save you guys some time, I'm just going to sit here and juice, and we're going to come back at you when I'm all done. Last carrot going into the Green Star Pro Juicer. This is pretty, pretty much uneventful. I've been, I'm right-handed, but I'm pushing with my left hand. It does take a little bit of downward strength. You know, uh, the fatter the carrot, the more challenging it can be to push it in uh, to the Green Star Pro. So you might want to try to select, you know, uh, smaller diameter carrots, for example. But this has pretty much gone uneventfully. I think we're all done. And once again, once you put that last produce in, to the juice you want to let the machine run a little bit longer to just turn it off immediately because the produce is still being ground up and being run down that auger as it gets ground up mixed and then squeezed or pressed out in the final stage the final thing is i will say is that you do get a plastic pusher and a wooden pusher i i like the wooden pusher myself now keep in mind the wooden pusher will be ground up on the gears the pulp will the wood pulp will come out with the pulp there and uh, I just like that instead of using the plastic pusher myself. But you can see, oh, oh, let's go ahead and stop this. So basically that took about uh, five minutes to juice in the Green Star Pro. Once again, this is a hands-on juicing experience because I had to like literally push each item in the machine when it was done pushing and then I had to push the next one. But it looks like it's worked very well. So let's go ahead and let that sit there. 
while we get reset up here and uh, juice in the Nama J2 juicer, that's gonna be a little bit different. So juicing in the Nama J2 is a different process. While you could cut each thing and drop it in this hole one piece at a time, I don't recommend doing that. In order to save you guys some time and, and make the most out of the Nama J2 on its literally uh, walk away technology where you load up the hopper, you can literally walk away. Um, we're gonna, we have to do some pre-preparation to the machine. So you can see I barely have to cut anything on the Green Star Pro. Have to cut the apples and quarters, everything else. I just put in whole. Same thing with celery or kale or collards on the Green Star Pro. You could roll it into a big cigar, jam it in there, push it with a pusher, no pre-cutting. While you could just put in whole carrots in the J2 and let it kind of chop it on its own if you really don't want to pre-cut, I would not recommend doing it that way. I would recommend pre-cutting your produce so that you could load up the hopper more effectively load it up completely, turn it on, and then you could walk away and not sit there and push or drop things in the machine piecemeal. All right, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start the clock, and I'm just gonna sit here and pre-cut some of the produce items, and then uh, load up the hopper and shut the lid so we can see the overall juicing time. That being said, the preparation time of me having hands on the produce will be a lot shorter because my hands were on the produce the whole five minutes pretty much putting it in the J into the Green Star Pro. With the Nama, it's maybe like a minute or so um, for prepping, dropping everything in, and then I can like walk away and let the machine do all the work. So I guess with that, let's go ahead and hit this start button here and get started. All right, so I'm just gonna take a bunch of these carrots and I'm just gonna go ahead and um, take them and cut them into, I don't know, one to three inch pieces. Super simple, super easy. Roll those off. We're going to go ahead once again take the apples, cut them the same way I did in the Green Star Pro into quarters. This is super simple, super easy. Doesn't take rocket science. Um, of course, once, I, once again, I said you can put things in whole if you prefer. That being said, it's just um, going to take you more time. So I like to pre-cut things. Saves me some time. So once I have a lot of pre-cut items, we're just going to go ahead and drop in a couple of the apples. We're going to drop in some of the carrots, drop in more apples, drop in more carrots. I like to basically layer up the different layers so it's going to juice more effectively. Always when I'm juicing something soft like fruits, I like to juice something hard like a root. It's always going to make the J2 more effective when juicing. So I'm loading up the hopper. Got the hopper pretty much loaded up. We're going to go ahead and turn this machine on, shut this lid, and it's already starting to juice. You can see that took about a minute of prep time before it even got going. And while it's going now, I could use the last minute or so to uh, prep up the last of this produce. All right, so you guys can see, basically I got all the produce prep, took maybe, uh, I don't know, a minute and a half. So now the machine is almost empty, now I'm just gonna go ahead and drop in the rest. Uh, kind of get it more efficient. You could open the hopper and just dump it all in at once, but I like to have the machine running while I'm dumping it in to save some time. All right, now the cool thing about the J2 is that I don't have to be here and we're just gonna go ahead and let the juicer run without me. All right, so as you guys can see, the J2 is almost finished juicing, once again, without me. And that's really the main concept of the J2. So if you don't wanna sit there the whole time, maybe spend 90 seconds prepping with the J2 and pretty much, it juiced on its own without me so that's that's the coolest thing about the j2 you'll know when it's done when the machine stops ejecting the pulp and no more juice is dripping so we're going to go ahead and hit the stop button there and as you guys can see it also took five minutes but let's talk about like let's turn it off let's talk about of the five minutes right i maybe spent 90 seconds of the five minutes actually doing something pre-cutting loading it up and then i literally was walking away and let the machine juice without me for three and a half minutes. Whereas on the Green Star Pro, the whole five minutes I was doing something. And really that is the key. So you're going to save, you know, a good one third of your time, even though you got to pre-cut some stuff on the J2, because you will be able to 
not have to sit there and push stuff into the juicer virtually like every other juicer in the world makes you do, right? There's very few machines that have hopper technology and of all the hopper technology based juicers I've tested to date that are available for you guys to buy, the J2 has always come out on top and my favorite for one reason or another. Probably one of the main reasons is the long warranty. No other hopper style juicer has a full 15 year warranty on the motor base as well as the parts and this is a worldwide warranty guys. A lot of the hopper juicers on the market may have a short two year parts warranty depending on what market you guys are in. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and bring up the juices front and center to see which juicer made more. Now, of course, on both juicers, always like to tip it up to see if there's any final residual drips or drops out of the juicer. I hope one day that manufacturer will make juicers so that it's automatically tipped up when it's actually juicing, which would kind of be fun. And uh, I did use a sieve to basically strain out the juice as it came out of each juicer. The Green Star Pro, we're gonna just go ahead and just again, tip that up a little bit, tip it front a little bit, and let's go ahead and carefully move this juice out. Now these, these sieves are completely full and kind of submerged in the juice. So what I'm gonna do here for you guys is we're gonna, just gonna go ahead and uh, shake these down very carefully. Wow, the yield difference is actually quite impressive, actually. All right, so first up, I wanna show you guys the pulps that each machine made. It looks like to be a fairly similar amount. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and weigh them out. I'd say if one made a little bit more, I'd say the Nama J2 put a little bit more pulp into the juice. But let's just go ahead and weigh these out on a scale to find out for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and weigh the Nama J2 pulp first. Looks like we got 33 grams of pulp in the Nama J2. All right, next up, let's go ahead and weigh out the Green Star Pro Pulp. 27 grams of pulp in the Green Star Pro. So technically the Green Star Pro put less pulp in than the Nama J2 did. Next up, let's go ahead and compare the yield. All right, so next up, I wanna go ahead and compare the yields, but unfortunately these measuring containers that actually come with the Green Star Pro, you get one. Um, you can't really easily see the measurements, so we're going to go ahead and transfer them into my standard collection cups I normally use when I use a vertical juicer. And so let's first go ahead and pour this out from the Nama J2 juicer. This is a nice, really consistent juice coming right out. I'm not seeing a whole lot of pulp or residue in there. We're going to go ahead and let that drip out a little bit. Next, let's go ahead and pour out the Green Star Pro Juice. Uh, this juice definitely made more, and I do love the pour spouts on these containers that basically are, are pretty much drip proof, unlike some other containers I've used in the past that are included with juicers. Now, I do wanna let you know a few things. Number one, we did juice in the Green Star Pro first. But the other thing, I want you guys to look at this. I mean, for most of you guys, you would not even consider this, but this to me is actually quite telling and quite important. Look, do you guys see the difference in the residues in each of the juicing containers, right? The Nama J2 container is more clear, right? There's not a lot of residue, right? That means there's less, in my opinion, particulate in the juice, which means technically there's less nutrition in the juice, right? If you mixed all this particulate up that we did not mix into there, right, all the, all the, all the orange coloring you're seeing is the beta carotene. And that's the study that showed that there's twice as much beta carotene, uh, you know, when you juice in a twin gear than an auger juicer. So this would make sense to me because it basically grinds up, blows open more cell walls and gets more of those pigments in the juice. You know, you could, when you could sit here and, and, and sieve it off and, Lick it off your fingers. Wow, that stuff tastes good. I don't even want to waste it. <laughs> but yeah, that's some of the nutrition you'd be missing from the Nama J2. And we'll, we'll discuss and talk about this in a little bit more too. But first, let's go ahead and check out the yield difference. All right, let's go ahead and do a close-up on the yields over on the Nama J2 juicer side. Looks like we got between 600 and 700. I'm going to call that maybe 675 roughly. And then over on the Green Star Pro side, definitely made more. I'm gonna say we're right around 750. 
milliliters of juice. So clearly you guys could see the Green Star Pro Juicer won in this comparison test. Now the other thing I want you guys to notice is I want you guys to notice the color of the juices in the foam. Now I did, of course, pour these juices out, but both juicers have a fair bit of foam at the top. I'm gonna say, you know, they're fairly similar. Let's go ahead, once again, this is the Green Star Pro foam, and this is the Nama J2 foam. If anything, I'd say the Green Star had a little bit more foam, but I mean, it, it, they look pretty much the same to me. What is different is maybe the, the color of the juice. I don't know if you guys could see that, but the J2 juice, to me, looks a little bit more like translucent. I mean, you still can't see through it, but it just doesn't quite look as dense as the Tribest Green Star Pro Juice. Of course, both these juices will separate over time. Juice separation is not a bad thing, although some people would make you want to believe that. It just happens to be, you know, how much particulate is in the juice. To me, the Green Star Pro Juice has more fine particulate. This is evidenced by looking at the juice. If you guys could see that, um, it's a lot more, you know, uh, deeper in color. And, you know, there's not any, any clear spots of the juice that you could see through easily. Whereas on the Nema J2 juice, you know, there, there's less particulate dissolved into the, in the, into the juice, which means you're getting on some level a little bit less nutrition. Next, let's go ahead and do a taste test on each of the juices. All right, next, let's go ahead and do a taste test on each of the juices. I think I will start with the Nema J2 juice first. Made about 10% less once again. Pour it out. Once again, carrot, apple juice. We're going to just try a little bit for you guys on camera. I mean, that's a solid juice, guys. I like the apple content. Makes the carrot juice a bit sweet. Very clean juice. Not a lot of particulate in there. Let's go ahead and try the Green Star Pro juice next. Taste that up. Wow. So it is very difficult to tell these two juices apart. But if I use my spidey senses and kind of like, you know, close my eyes and concentrate, I could clearly taste like the Green Star Pro Juice. It tastes a tad bit stronger. Like it's more flavorful. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try it again. This to me tastes a little bit better than the Nama J2 juice. Let's go ahead and try this one again here. Wow. You could, I, I clearly taste a difference, right? How I'm going to describe it is like a, a flat, like a soda, right? You drink a soda, you crack it open fresh, you drink it, or a kombucha. Tastes good, carbonated. And then you let the soda sit a while and then you drink it again and then like it just doesn't have that punch because the carbonation goes down right so that's how this is like this has more of a, a punch like i'm going to say the punch are the the nutrients in the juice what i'm going to say is that you know the reason for this is because the the way the machine extracts the juice between the two twin gears grinding up the produce between two stainless steel gears grinding it with the you know cutting points and the different design of the auger, the bioceramic and far infrared magnetic technology that pulls out nutrients, I'm going to say it definitely works. And so the study that I've seen says, you know, maybe 20% more minerals, depending on the mineral. Sometimes this may make more. But in general, this machine will pretty much always make a more nutritious juice than the Nama J2. And flavonoids and polyphenols maybe pretty close within one or two points, of course, favoring the Green Star Pro. But on certain nutrients, such as in this case, beta carotene in the carrots, vitamin C, right? The, the twin gear could extract up to 50% more. So, I mean, that's really where the difference is, guys. You could see this definitely took more work to push the, push the produce in, but, you know, you're getting more at the same time. So is the extra work worth it for you to gain the extra, potentially up to double the amount of certain nutrients and 20% of other, you know, minerals and whatnot. Is it worth it for you? Only you can answer that question. So I think, you know, we tested the juices and surely the 
Green Star Pro Juice tasted better. But now what I want to do for you guys is show you guys a pulp. Because, you know, we did make 10% more juice and we did make a more deeper color, richly pigmented juice that tastes better to me. I want to now compare the pulp on both machines. All right, I want to show you guys the pulp on both machines. This is the Nama J2 pulp over on this side. And this is the Green Star Pro pulp over on this side. Right, can you guys see a technical difference between these two? Yeah, so I mean, the first thing I'm seeing is that one pulp is lighter than the other one. What does that mean? If one pulp is lighter, that means it basically uh, got more of the nutrition out of the pulp or out of the produce item. So in this case, to me, this is a few shades lighter orange than the Namit J2 pulp. Once again, confirming that the Green Star Pro did pull out more nutrition. Now, the other thing I'm seeing is that in the Nama J2 pulp, right, if you look closely, I mean, a lot of it is ground up. But, you know, here's like a, a piece of apple, you know, just a small little bit of apple. Yeah, this is not big. And yes, it did overall a good job at crushing up and grinding up everything. But if you look in general, the produce on this side is a bit more coarse, right? There's, yeah, there's this piece of apple and, you know, the pieces of carrots are a little bit larger. And if we look on this side, right, the apples are just devastated, right? You're not going to see a piece of apple that large in over on the green star pro side right in addition what you're also going to find is that if you just put this between your fingers and you know mush it you're going to find the particle size is a lot smaller and it's probably been damaged a lot more basically opening up more cell walls extracting more nutrition into the juice also once again you know there's a larger particle size if i picked up this pulp and squeezed it right i could still squeeze out juice out of this side and if we squeeze it on this side, right, it's definitely more dry. I'm not going to say this is sawdust dry, but the cool thing about both these machines is to some extent you can actually put the pulp through the machine again and get a second pressing. So what do we learn by learning the pulp? Well, we learned the Green Star Pro Pulp was drier than the Nama J2. We also learned that it was a bit lighter in color, right, meaning that, once again, more nutrition in the juice. Now, yes, we only did make 10% more juice than the Nama J2, but nonetheless, it is a more nutritious juice. So this can be very important if, for example, you're a breast cancer survivor, right? They've correlated in scientific studies that like, hey, higher beta carotene content in your blood may mean longer survivability, right? And the Green Star Pro, based on the study I've seen, can produce up to 50% more vitamin C, you know, in carrots, for example, when juicing with a twin gear than an auger juicer, right? So, I mean, clearly, Green Star Pro, if nutrition is the most important, you don't care about pushing produce in or maybe even building some muscles while you're juicing and you like it's a meditative process, go with the Green Star Pro, right? But if you're lazy and you already own a Green Star Pro and you don't use it anymore, and I've had a lot of customers that are like that, John, I just don't like the juicing process, I don't like the cleaning process, then go with the Nama G2 because, yes, you're losing some nutrition, but, mate, man, drinking this Every single day versus doing this once a week, I'm going to say the Nama J2's got it, got, got, got the Green Star Pro B. So, you know, that's where it comes down to the end of this juice off video. Who am I going to get declare the winner? Man, this is tough, guys. I mean, the Nama J2 definitely beat the Green Star Pro in terms of ease of use. A minute and a half total prep and put into the juice, turn it on, juicer, turn it on, walk away. Meanwhile, the Green Star Pro took traditionally five minutes of pushing the produce in to make more juice, make a more nutritious juice. Once again, what is important and most important to you? So for this video, I'm going to have to tell you guys, I'm going to have to declare the winner of this juice off, actually the Green Star Pro. Why? Because it did make more juice. It made more yield, basically the same amount of time. But of course, we were actively juicing in it. Of course, it has a 15-year warranty, and I know a lot of you guys are getting into juicing for your health, and you guys want the most nutritious juice. So, you know, if that is the case, don't shortchange yourself by buying the Nama J2. I know it is my favorite juicer, right? But if you guys are on a healing program and trying to heal from different things out there, right, give yourself every possible advantage by extracting the most nutrition and getting the driest pulp the first time through by getting the Green Star Pro. That being said, you know, honorable mention has to go to the Nama J2. It was a lot easier to process, easier to use,
but the grinding technology in the vertical auger juicer is not up to par with the twin gear stainless steel technology. I hope that vertical auger technology get catches up and is able to grind to a similar particle size and extract more. How could they do this? Maybe make it stainless on stainless, maybe make the tolerances in there tighter, maybe make that vertical auger a lot taller because you know this gear is a lot longer and has a lot more time to work and crush up the produce and extract more juice than this auger that basically crushes it, doesn't really mix it, squeeze it, the juice comes out and the pulp comes out, right? And this is what you get. So yeah, I mean, I really hope after watching this episode, you guys better understand the differences between the Green Star Pro and the Nama J2. And now you can better determine which machine will be best for you. I guess what we got you going on here, let's go ahead and take these machines apart real quick. Show you guys what we're gonna have to clean. So over on the Nama J2, what we're gonna have to do <laughs> is we're gonna go ahead and take off this top housing. And you guys can see this is pretty clean. There's a little bit to clean inside there. There's a little bit on the bottom. I spray that down and brush it down. Next up, we got the auger to clean. You guys can see the auger. Yes, it is discolored. It'll kind of have this weird tinge to it after juicing carrots. This can be removed by scrubbing it with soap and water. It kind of has a green turquoise tinge. There is some pulp on there. Of course, inside the juicing screen, Definitely got a lot of carrot pulp. Now I didn't show the auto cleaning technique of the Nama J2 in this video. Link down below to a video where I show that technically. You guys can see there's pulp, you know, kind of lodged in to the screen that will not be difficult to uh, get out. In addition, in the bottom of the J2 bowl, there will be some pulp you will need to clean as well. Over on to the Green Star Pro, we take this whole outer housing out. There's a little bit to clean on the top here. And then we can go ahead and uh, pull out the main housing. You guys can see we got the two twin gears here. The twin gears will not discolor generally um, from the pigments of the carrots like the Nama J2 will. And we can pull out the auger here. So comparing the auger to the auger there, right? This is all stainless steel. The, the carrot is really pressed and ground in there. This will be relatively easy to clean. Uh, the main challenge with the Green Star Pro will be the um, juicing screen. Once again, to compare the juicing screens, definitely a lot more ground in pulp on the Green Star Pro screen, although it's only you know at the at the end, whereas this is basically all the way around. Of course, we have this uh, outlet adjusting knob and out the main outlet body housing we have to get in there and clean that there are some nooks and crannies in there i spray the water in use a brush and brush it out with soap and water and then we have the main feed chute here this is going to be pretty easy to clean just blast water through here blast it through the sides brush it with some soap and water now these parts will discolor from the carrots unlike the uh, stainless steel will so i do recommend scrubbing this with soap and water after every use that'll help keep the, the, the carot carotenoid pigments down so it kind of looks like new and then, of course, we have this little area on the Green Star Pro juicer to basically uh, scrub out and brush down as well. So I estimate that the Green Star Pro may take a little bit longer uh, to clean, maybe a minute or two longer than the Nama J2. Um, there's definitely more nooks and crannies on the Green Star Pro than the Nama J2. So I think that's all I got for this episode. Now, which one do you think won? You tell me your comments. Did you like that there's more nutrition in the Green Star Pro, the more effective cutting methods of the twin gear juicers with a longer run, grinding up produce to a finer consistency, getting the pulp more dry, or did you like the ease of use and you're willing to sacrifice some nutrient content as well as some yield because it only took 90 seconds of basically pre-cutting the produce, loading it in, into the hopper, shutting the lid, and walking away and letting the machine do all the work so that you don't have to. What do you think? Well, in either case, I want you guys to post your comments down below. More importantly, give this video a big thumbs up. But more importantly, if you guys appreciate my content, content that you will not see on any other channel where I give you guys my honest opinions and reviews as I've been selling juicers online now, for 25 years, I've been making videos now for the last 15 years, your support is greatly appreciated and it allows me to continue to make these videos. If you guys decide upon the Nama J2, you can buy it at namawell.com. I'll use a coupon code right there, vertical10, to save yourself 
10% off on the NAMA J2. And also, NAMA will show me a small commission so I can continue to make these videos, right? If you guys decided upon the Green Star Pro Juicer, right, just go down to tribest.com slash DJ10, and that'll get you guys 10% off on the Green Star Pro Juicer so that you guys could buy either of these juicers and save the most money and help support me at the same time so I could continue to make these educational videos so that I could kind of go a lot deeper than most influencers that may, you know, represent one of these brands or the other. I try, try to stay impartial and share with you guys the pros and cons of each machine so that I empower you guys to make the right choice and juicer for you. Don't just get sucked into one juicer or another because that's the one that's being promoted online. They don't go to the depth of showing you the different colors of the juices, the different kinds of pulps or <laughs> making a mess that I'll now have to clean up. So once again, if you guys enjoyed this episode, thumbs this video up. More importantly, I don't want you guys to miss out on my new and upcoming content. Make sure you click that subscribe button right down below and click the little bell so you get notified as many videos come out. You never know what new juicers I'll be comparing or contrasting against each other or what new juicers I'll be unboxing and showing you guys for the first time, what new vacuum blending technology I'll be showing you guys or other appliances I'll be showing you guys that will allow you to extract the most amount of nutrients out of different fruits, vegetables, and other plant foods. Also, be sure to check my past episodes. The past episodes are a wealth of knowledge. I have over 700 videos on this channel demonstrating all the different machines. I have unboxing videos of the Green Star Pro. I have the Nama J2 video unboxing. I've compared these machines to many other machines so that you guys can get the most well-rounded, you know, experience and get the most well-rounded reviews before you make your juicer purchase. Because once you get a juicer, I want you guys to stick with it for life and become a juicer for life. Links down below some of my videos I made in the past about the NAMA J2 as well as the Green Star Pro and I did want to mention it also if you don't need the Pro version of the Green Star Pro you could also get the Green Star Elite that is actually pretty much the same price or a little bit more expensive than the NAMA J2 um, that's going to give you pretty much the same exact performance except that has a, you know doesn't have the all 100% stainless steel gears but the performance is pretty much same. So with that, my name is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for YouTube visitors.